going on guys? I am here at Universal Studios Hollywood at Super Nintendo World. Let's check it out. Let's review it. The whole, the whole thing. <laughs> okay, I am about to step into Super Nintendo World. Here we go, guys. Oh. Love the sound effects. This is reminiscent of the N64 game. We had to like jump into those paintings. I remember that. So cool. Wow. Got your little Goomba guys right there. Here we go. Whoa. This is awesome. <laughs> you can even hear the music. This is fantastic. I don't even know where to look right now. There is so much going on. So fun fact for the park. I don't know how well this is advertised, but I got here when the park first opened. I wasn't allowed in here until 5 p.m. Uh, you have to get like one of those virtual queue things. Just make sure that when you come here, you are aware that you have to have a virtual queue in order to enter Super Nintendo World. That's very important. I did ask someone that works here if it's worth it to get those power-up bands, and they actually said no. I did not purchase one. You can see there's these games that you can play with the power bands. Play the games and you collect the coins. Definitely more of an incentive to buy the power-up bands. Still really cool looking. See those people? Those are the ones with the power-up bands. I guess if you hit those, you get special coins. I was also told that if you have a Nintendo Switch, the coins that you collect in the park for your eShop for your Nintendo Switch. Nintendo also has a game called Pikmin. Looks like they put a little Easter egg in there. So they are. I'm gonna stand at the center of the world and just kind of rotate around. So hopefully you guys can see the scale of everything. This is unbelievable, you guys. Wow, the attention to detail, 10 out of 10. Hey, Mario. Luigi, good to see you. Yeah. Still just in shock that Mario and Luigi actually talked. That was so cool. There it is, Mario Kart Bowser's challenge. The wait time is 100 minutes. I mean, I think that's kind of worth it. This is so cool. You guys think this pipe goes anywhere? It's gotta go somewhere, right? Part of the queue actually takes you outside on the exterior. See Bowser's castle. Whoa, dude. Okay, here we go. Ooh, look at that. Bowser's castle. This thing is massive. Huge. Oh, that's so cool. These are the cups from Mario Kart. Special cup, flower cup, leaf cup. <laughs> nice little plug for Universal there. What is this? It looks like some sort of workshop of some kind. I'm actually unfamiliar with where this is from. Some sort of like factory now. See all the bombs and all the bullets. Okay hey guys, here we go. Team Mario, bring it. Here we go. Okay, so my overall thoughts on Super Nintendo World. This place is so cool. Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge was a super fun ride. However, I don't know if it was necessarily worth three hours waiting in line for it, but I will say that it was really cool. I personally did not get the power band, but people have been saying that it's kind of worth it, kind of not. It's gonna have to be up to you. It is $40, I believe, so you're gonna have to decide if that's worth it to you or not. The environment at night is a lot better than during the day because you can really see all the vibrant colors of Super Nintendo World. I also got to see Mario and Luigi who also talk. I did not know that they were able to talk. That was definitely a highlight for me. Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood. You guys have got to check this out. I'm Mark from Inside the Magic California. See you next time, guys.